matriarch stands up to the monster only to fall to the predator's jaws and die. And Dominus is only one of herd. three million monsters on the planet. The matriarchs are the strongest in the herd. They also lead the herd and protect the herd. A male named Samson takes leadership of the herd. He is not as old or as strong as the original leader, but he will have to step up to the plate. Sadly, without Goliath, they may eventually What's die out anyway. Oh, a Gigantopithecus, the largest known ape to have lived on Earth. What's that? Oh no! I guess Gigantopithecus has been eaten by a Super Rex, the biggest, most ugliest T-Rex to ever walk. This is two times your size of your regular, normal T-Rex. Thanks to radiation in some parts of the of the planet, T-Rexes come in contact with it and become bigger and more deadlier. Of course, these types of creatures are rare, so pretty much we might as well feel honored. This is literally a rare scene. Look, an avatar, or Navi, as they call themselves. These are very... They are basically nomads who live off the land, kind of like the Native Americans on Earth. And if you're wondering why they are allowing me to stand around watching them, it is because I have a peace treaty with them. And the Gladiator Army also organized a peace treaty years ago. Well, us archaeologists and zoologists continue to document all the different creatures on Prehistoria, the people of Prehistoria will allow us to watch and document everything. For Prehistoria is a nature preserve. This giant planet is full of creatures beyond your belief. And many of us explorers who go around documenting every creature in plant life have different roles and different looks. In fact, some of us you may get to meet. Our resident hunter will be the first one you will meet on our travels. Of course, this is episode one, so you will only meet him today, sadly. Hello, my name's James. I'm the resident hunter. As you can see, those were American wild boar from planet Earth. This planet has a lot of wildlife from Earth on it, as well as wildlife that is long extinct. My job as a hunter and tracker is to hunt and find out how many of those creatures are on this planet. And if they're extinct on Earth, what are they doing on this planet? which I have figured out, portals open up on this planet and creatures come out of them. Meaning creatures run through these portals by accident, not realizing they're being trapped in another universe completely. And that's my belief. If you excuse me, I'm gonna go check out these portals and maybe go into one to figure out where it goes, what planet it may be leading to. Sadly, a camera crew, crew can't come along with me, and I can't record it. So, sorry guys. <laughs>